again this is this has been the year of uh, witchcraft for us We've been, <laughs> <laughs> we talked about Tiffany Montgomery calling people witches all, mm-hmm. all this year finding out Beyonce is a witch apparently so um here, here's another just testament to what people believe that like witchcraft is prominent in in Hollywood and in the industry. So uh, let's let's see what the they different have to say. Arishas and Yoruba pre- like all of those practices. And it's not just her. It's kind of it's it's she's one of the bigger voices. And so I think from your vantage point, knowing your history and what God brought you from, what do you suspect is happening? when it comes to our generation and the way the media and the music is influencing them towards syncretism and other gods. Yeah, so we're normalizing witchcraft. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, we're just making witchcraft palatable. Um, and if you can get a star to do it, that makes it even more attractive and beautiful. So there's art- artistry and beauty and musical gifting presenting witchcraft. Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. It's the angel of light. So witchcraft is no longer a boogeyman movie. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, oh, you see that woman making a necklace with bones? It's in a dark room. She looks crazy. The whole thing looks suspicious. Nobody wants that witchcraft. But when witchcraft has hips and flowing hair and a a nice sounding voice and a belly button that's exposed. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's like, okay, I can get with some witches. And I want to be that witch because wow. I want to look like that too. I want to have that money. It's like, oh, marry, kids, seem normal. You don't see anybody's life falling apart because the enemy, you know, over promises, under delivers. He's not going to show you all that. So I think it's the way in which it's being presented, which normalizes it. Um, and I also think it has become kind of a black version of, you know, astrology. So people for years been talking about, I'm a Taurus, I'm a Libra, I'm a this. And so now I'm just Oshun, I'm Ogun, I'm Yemon, Ya, I'm Obatala. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, what do you think about that? Is is uh, witchcraft becoming mainstream? <clears throat> At least in our culture, it sounds like she's saying. I think so, because remember I told you, my first encounter with the witch, like it was black hair, black eyes, black fingernails, black everything. And I was, I knew what I was in the presence of. Mm. Now, you, you may not know. You're just walking around and you see somebody and they have on a different color. I remember, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, my company, they brought in a witch to... You could, you could talk about it now. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. <laughs> they brought in a witch to talk about um, strategy, you know, for the company. Uh-huh. And she pulled up all the books that she's written. And I'm like, okay, that's demonic, that's demonic. But she looked like a regular person on the book jacket. You wouldn't have known yeah. that until you flipped it over and saw her, uh. her titles. Mm-hmm. You know? That's crazy. I think it's very common. Uh, we talked about a few songs. I hear Kaylani. She was doing Santeria in one of her songs. Um, Erica Badu professed to be a witch before. SZA mm-hmm. came out and said she was a witch. And, you know, <laughs> like these chicks come. Um, Janae Aiko Jan- came out and said mm-hmm. she did. She was a witch. Like, But like she was saying, they're so attractive. They're so appealing. They have these beautiful voices. They make songs that you like that can relate to you and all this kind of stuff. People just overlook the blatant sin, the blatant wickedness because... What I learned about Christians too, especially, when they really like somebody, they're going to defend them to the death. Yeah. Right, wrong, or indifferent, they're going to defend them. Yeah. But if mm-hmm. somebody else they don't like is doing the exact same thing, Facts. they're going to villainize them and Facts. run them in the ground. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. But right is right, wrong is wrong, and these folks are doing witchcraft. Beyonce done came out several times with this Oshun, all this E5 stuff. Uh, 21 Savage came out and says he followed E5. Mm. Um, they're coming out and telling you this stuff. And because you like them so much and you don't do the research and look in scripture and you're trying to find a reason to really do whatever you want to do and you're trying to find a way out of serving God anyway, Mm. when they come and say, hey, I worship this and I do this and they have money, fame, and notoriety, it must be something to it. Let me check this out. Now you at house making food for people who ain't going to show up. Now you out here saying all these crazy (laughs) prayers. Now you out here doing all kind of wickedness, bringing spells and stuff into your house, listening to music, watching folks perform live, doing witches, doing um. Spells and all kind of wickedness on stage. I seen a Rihanna video one time. She killed somebody. It was a whole tub full of blood. Like, wow. what that have to do with the song? <laughs> what what <laughs> Erica Badu laying in a bathtub full of blood, just like like uh mm-hmm. uh Rihanna was. Mm-hmm. What's the what's the coincidence? Both of them laying in a bathtub full of blood. They don't seem like it might be some kind of ritual or something going on. But we just be so in tune to what's going That's on. Crazy, just, bro. So let me let me tell you my just my. Um, understanding of this so far so we started recently talking about it 
I always saw people like do witch stuff and dress like witches and <clears throat> glorify that witch thing. I I never thought that they were being sincere about it. Mm-hmm. I thought it was just mm-hmm. like a you know talk about. I'm it. just I'm just pulling this this icon iconography. It's related with women feminism, so I'm gonna use the witch persona they used to hunt witches so i'm gonna it's like you know reclaiming the n-word i'm gonna I'm use the yeah. negativity an and anti-culture I'm gonna claim, basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah so i always thought that's what they were doing so you guys believe that these people are actually doing witchcraft yes, yep. yes. oh yeah and yes. and you believe the common person that that look, looks at beyonce and looks at all these people are now doing witchcraft i'm gonna say this mm. um yeah believe what you're saying mm-hmm. um right now it's um <laughs> you can go on Essence.com and invoke Oshun. They mm. tell you how to do it. Yeah. So on Essence, wow. Essence.com or one of those you black just, female put magazines. Put that in the doc. Like, <laughs> <you> tell us <laughs> that. No, you can. And uh, I remember seeing that. And I know, I know how different people feel about um, G. Craig. So, but he has a video about um, African water spirits, and he talks about that. And he was talking about like, you know how when we get saved, Jesus Christ comes in our heart, but we also get the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. So. For them, when they invoke that spirit, they also invoke her husband, Aladu, who, Aladari, yeah, or something like that. who's like a transgender. So it's like, mm-hmm. when it's it's real, bro. Like, it, I mean, I know we're talking about it, and people are like, that's crazy. But I think what it is also too is you go back to you think about those sirens, you think about mermaids, you think about how mm-hmm. siren mermaids were sirens who could sing very well, captivate you and you like in the days, and then they grab you and kill you. Yeah. So it's it's a lot of stuff. I know sometimes we don't want to hear it because it's like. That's that's far fetched, but mm. when you play with the spiritual realm, mm. it's real. Yeah, it's no, it's, it's not it's nothing to play with. It's unlimited. like it's, it's unlimited real. perversion. And I think what people wow. don't talk about is the side effects of that. Mm. When you have to deal with that night, when we talked about Kalani, not Kalani, when we talked about um, Sweetie, when she's like, I gotta play gospel music so I, I can sleep rest because if I don't, then something's shaking my bed, something grabbing me, something. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's it's the effects of that. I know I'm seeing stuff with people who've come out of New Age, who come out of witchcraft, and they talk about this, and they mm-hmm. talk about the side effects of what they were doing with this, mm-hmm. and it's real. This is their t- personal testimony. I got mm-hmm. I, they did this. This person felt this way. This person, um, like like seeing demonic stuff. People who were they roommates seeing demonic stuff because they're practicing witchcraft. Mm-hmm. Lost and found said conspiracy. J is back. <laughs> got him <laughs> no, back. No, hey, conspiracy. J. <laughs> yeah, I'm you, sweating. You over tell here. me you a witch <laughs> if you come out and say yeah I, I practice a little witchcraft. You know yeah. They just yeah. politely just say it in the middle yeah. of your interview. Oh yeah, we do spells and rituals all the time. Yeah, like I'm gonna take you serious. Like so, where are yeah. all the warlocks? Yeah, Why are we only hear about witches. Warlocks exist too. Yeah, Mel. Yeah. Oh, Man. But they're not popular. Um, so without getting too weird, <laughs> without getting too weird, so somebody I know came out of witchcraft. She said she used to be a white witch. And she says how it works is, like your country, like the United States, they divide your country into sections. And they have different, um, not broods, I forgot what they call the group of witches. Um, anyway. A big they, hive. A coven, <laughs> like a coven. Coven, yeah. yeah. Coven. So they have different right, covens that are responsible, warlocks and different covens that are responsible for different sections of the country. They divide it and they cast spells and do different things yeah. and work all mm-hmm. kind of witchcraft and, and uh, things of wickedness in certain areas or whatnot. Mm-hmm. So you had the warlocks, just like how we believe men should be the leaders, warlocks are back in the cut and they kind of just like orchestrating. Mm, and yeah. like sending stuff out there some of these re- some of these record labels they say when you get your music and get it done mix and master yeah, they put it in a room with warlocks and they put different spells and different things facts. over the music to impact people a certain kind of way you wonder why you hear a song all of a sudden now people in the trance like back in like the 70s and 80s with that rock and roll music they come out screaming and hollering and whatever and you see people just out of control yeah. or, or people mm. just come stand on the stage and look at everybody and don't even say a word but the crowd just going frantic just now they got to bring a stretch out and pull you out. They said they putting like spirits and all kind of stuff uh, on top of these songs, and that's why they having the impact they have on people. See, this is why it's very important as believers to stay in tune with mm-hmm. the source that we know, because regardless of what witchcraft, what spiritual realms, whatever is out there that is not of God, our nature of being followers of Christ is knowing that we have a stronger source. Mm, that we are tapped right. into absolutely and this is why a lot of the times uh if, if any of the guys in the room were a lot like myself growing up when you had that spiritual covering around you that wouldn't let you watch certain things listen to certain things like 
in modern day that's exactly why that's a lot more important now yeah. on why we have to be aware of what we're like aware enough where you know what's going on but see you don't have to really know what's going on to know what's going on because mm-hmm. your source is going to let you know just off looking mm-hmm. or or hearing something like you're gonna know okay I know what I gotta pray against or I know what I gotta battle against right now and it recognizes you you get what I'm saying cause uh opposite spirits are gonna rep- recognize the spirit of God within you too you see what I'm saying so mm-hmm. like right. this is why it's just so important for us to really truly just lock in uh, especially as these times are getting more evil yeah. we really really gotta tap into our source because it's just so unlimited on how we can fight these things yeah